I'm Susie Lishman and I'm a pathologist. When people think of pathology, they think of murders and solving crimes, the sort of things you see on television. But in reality, the vast majority of pathology is done for the benefit of the living. Things like blood tests, cervical smears, cancer diagnoses, finding which antibiotic to treat infections with, blood transfusions, all of these are done by pathologists. I'm really lucky, I love my job. I never know what I'm going to see from one day to the next. It's a bit like detective work putting all the pieces of the jigsaw together to come to the correct diagnosis for the patient. I'd love to use my skills and experience as a pathologist to tackle the question of exactly what caused the Black Death. The Black Death was a devastating outbreak of bubonic plague that killed over a third of the population of Europe in the 14th century, over 25 million people. At the time, it was thought that the cause was polluted air, but we now know that it was the bacterium Yersinia pestis, which was spread from rats to fleas to humans. The fascinating thing about Yersinia pestis is that it's still around today and there were small outbreaks of bubonic plague in countries like India and China, but nothing like the devastating outbreaks that we saw in the 14th century. So why is that? Well, it could be that the bacterium itself has changed, perhaps mutated over the years into a form that causes a less severe form of the disease. Or maybe we've changed. Maybe we've become fitter and stronger so we can fight off the infection better. Or maybe the bubonic plague wasn't caused by Yersinia pestis at all. Now, understanding more about the Black Death is not just of historical interest. It also helps us understand about how bacteria change so that we can look at finding new antibiotics as more of the bacteria around today become resistant to the drugs that we've got. It can also help us understand more about why disease outbreaks occur and perhaps even predict and prevent them in future. So are we heading for another Black Death? Well, probably not one caused by the bubonic plague, but there are other infections out there that could cause devastating infections and kill millions. Things like SARS, TB, bird flu, swine flu. I think we have to accept that a massive outbreak of disease could come along sooner or later, and is quite likely to do so. But the crucial question is, are we ready for it?